Hey guys, welcome back to the BFS Fishing Channel. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about this. So Shimano has gone ahead and it looks like they've released or announced the 2023 Calcutta Conquest BFS Reel. Uh, I was gonna do another video, but um, you know, because this news is so new, because they just released a video on this uh, a couple hours ago, uh, I thought I'd just kind of make an announcement video, just kind of going over the specs and whether or not I'll be picking one of these up Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, so it looks like the price is gonna come in at around 59,000 yen. So that's quite pricey actually for this reel. But from what I've been told, you know, past conquests have actually cost more than that. So take that for what it is. Anyways, if you look here, uh, it's scheduled to be released in February of this year. That's gonna be the, uh, the left-hand model, the HG and the XG. And then following that in April, we're going to get the right-hand versions of the HG and XG models. Um, if we take a quick look at this, basically what we're looking at is an Aldebaran that's in a metal round reel body. Uh, there are some upgrades that I've found of the Conquest over the Aldebaran, but they've been kind of far and few. So... Yeah, if you look at the spool, it looks nearly identical, if not identical, to the Aldebaran, the 22 Aldebaran. It's the same MGL spool 3. Uh, it uses almost the exact same. I'm not saying it's the exact same because I don't know if there's going to be any small differences, but from what I'm looking at, it looks nearly identical down to those little trilobe screws that they have on kind of the uh, the faceplate of the FTB system. They even have the uh, ferromagnetic ring that encompasses the FTB system that basically absorbs and shields the spool from any um, excess or residual eddy currents coming off of the FTB brake shoes. Um, and then we go down and there's a really good picture of it right there. I mean, it's virtually identical. I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, some of the parts or if the brake shoes are even interchangeable between the two reels. The line guide is a different shape, obviously. Uh, the Aldebaran has kind of a, almost a conical shape to it where this one looks very, um, I don't even know what shape that is, oval, I guess. It's not really an oval, but anyways. It definitely is a really good looking reel in my opinion. Uh, they're claiming that it's a compact reel, which is great because who wants a, a large reel in their hands? Comes with uh, Hagani micro module gears. I'm sure this reel is going to be just as smooth, if not smoother, than the Aldebaran. The gear ratios for the HG and the XG are going to be the exact same as the Aldebaran. So I'm wondering if they're just going to be using the same main and pinion gears. And then X ship, which is basically just bearings that support the uh, pinion on both sides. The bearings, I'm assuming the bearings are going to be the same bearings as uh, what we get in the Aldebaran. We can take a quick look at that. So what we're looking for is the SARB bearings. Let's go ahead and look at the full feature list. MGL Spool 3, Silent Tune, FTB, CI4 Plus. So CI4 Plus is going to be different. Uh, the other one doesn't seem like it has it. SARB bearings. Uh, yeah, so it's basically a shielded bearing and it's supposed to have some sort of coating on it that kind of inhibits corrosion from salt water. And yeah, for all intents and purposes, I think it's the exact same reel. It does have those three extra bearings. So one of them obviously is going to be in where the worm gear is. And that's an easy upgrade. Well, quote unquote, easy upgrade uh, for you all. Uh, 2022 Aldebaran owners, but where the other two bearings are, I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to actually see a schematic, and I don't know that uh, they've released any plans or schematics yet. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We can just take a quick look through. Uh, we can take a quick look through the spec sheet, and uh, I've got the XG left pulled up for both reels. I did take a look at the uh, HG and it was virtually identical. They've got the same gear ratio. They've got the same drag force in kilograms. Uh, obviously the weight's gonna be different because the, uh, the Conquest is coming with a full metal frame. Um, spool dimensions are exactly the same. The amount of line is same. IPT is same or CMPT, whatever you wanna call it. Handle length is same. Number of ball bearings, 
obviously that's going to be different that's the one of the other main differences and then price so it's the Aldebaran is quite a bit cheaper than the um the conquest bfs but what do you guys think are you guys going to be picking up one of these uh conquests uh personally i don't think i'm actually going to be dropping the money for one of these reels i've already got the Aldebaran. it's a great reel uh if the conquest is anything like the Aldebaran, i think people who are purchasing the conquest will be very very happy anyways Thank you so much for watching, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you like the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down. That's totally okay. Uh, if you aren't subbed, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps the channel grow. And with that being said, thank you as always for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.